painting by Japanese artist Kazuo Shiraga, and it was executed in 1961. Shiraga was part of a group called Gutai. It was created in Japan in the mid-50s and lasted until 1972. Gutai was one of the most important moments in post-war Japanese culture. And Shiraga was one of the leaders within that group. The name Gutai literally means concrete or concreteness. And you have this idea of all these artists to engage physically with the artworks they were creating. So, for example, you have Saburo Murakami running through paper screens Shimamoto, for example, was known for his explosions of paint onto canvas using a handmade cannon. Tanaka was dressing herself with electric dresses. Gutai had a great influence on many Western artists, such as Jackson Pollock, Yves Klein, Georges Mathieu, or Alan Capro, for example. It anticipated many contemporary practices, such as happenings, performance, body art, Shiraga had a very specific technique. He would put the canvas onto the floor and he would swing from a rope and dancing directly onto the canvas with his feet, creating those very abstract works, reflecting the energy of the artist himself and of the very precise moment when the painting was created. Shiraga was not only a painter, but he was a philosopher and in many ways he anticipated contemporary practices which are still alive today. And I think it's important to see him as someone who started a process which is an ongoing process and I think it has a fantastic resonance within the contemporary scene.